What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are down at the river as you see right behind me. It looks awesome right now. And we are gonna be fishing some current breaks. As you see where this current's coming together right here, it kind of does a little swirling eddy action. There's lots of spots and lots of cypress trees and little banks down through here that have channels going right up against it with the current breaks. So I'm guessing that we're gonna get some bass and we're gonna be getting them hopefully on some chatter baits. I usually use a spinner bait on the river with current a lot of the time, but I feel like a chatter bait today. We got the kayak and I got one rod. So one rod, chatter baits, spinner baits, crank baits, and just see what kind of moving baits we can use and see if these bass are hungry today. And it feels pretty good out here right now, so let's get to fishing. All right, we're gonna start today with this 3 8 ounce Guggenbaits clickbait. So fish with this, and this video today is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. So let's see if we can't use this thing to catch some big bass over here in this current. I know there's some good Guadalupe bass, which are kind of like, oh, they're more like smallmouth in a way. I don't know how well this thing's gonna work around this current section because a lot of times I'm using the the spinner bait. We're just gonna have to see. In that current it kind of wants to ride high so I really don't know if a spinner bait's gonna be a little more effective in these areas. I may try this a little bit more and I might have to switch over to a spinner bait just because of this current. Alright I'm coming downstream right here and I seen this little pocket over here. I'm gonna see if I can kind of sit off the edge of the current and maybe cast up in here. I changed off that chatter bait and I've got a spinner bait now on. I was not liking the way that that chatter bait was running in this current. And I know the spinner bait will be a lot better. smacked it oh that was a good one too dang There's a fish right there. Finally got one to hang up on it. Oh, it's a big old guad bass. Get in here. Yeah. Big old guad. Nice. Man, these bass are so pretty. Look at that big old belly. Thanks, bud. one right there he just came up and ate it just really delicately came up and ate that that was cool oh no he threw it that was a cool bite though <laughs> oh I love that
come on now. There's a bass right there. Oh, get over here. Get on in here. Yeah. No, don't you throw it. You little stinker. Settle down. Man, he smacked it hard in this clear water back here in this creek. Man, it is deep down in here. That's a good little bass right there. All right. Let's let this dude go. Oh yeah, down he goes. See if we can get him again. Dang. It wasn't a huge bass, but it was a bass. Just hanging out over there. Well, guys, I wanted to explore up this creek, and it was actually pretty cool exploring, but I just went past a bass bed. And I don't know if that bass is locked onto there yet. But it was right there, so. Nope, that bass is not locked on, but he's definitely on a bed. Well guys, I came back up to where I started and I didn't really have that successful of a day. I had four bites. I think I only got two fish in the boat. One flopped, the other one basically didn't get hung up, but I thought it was gonna be a lot better of a day, but. Coming out here after work with a kayak and going fishing, there really can't be much better than that and catching a few fish along the way is just a plus. But thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.